Picture this, you're ready to conquer the job market, armed with your skills, enthusiasm, and a killer LinkedIn profile. What happens when you aren't getting calls for the interviews? Or you have a great interview, but don't get job offers? Do you start a YouTube channel? Do you start your own business? Do you cry in the corner and quit trying? Well, all of these are legitimate options. Understanding unemployment helps when this experience is shared by a high percentage of people across the economy. Unemployment refers to the situation where individuals who are actively seeking employment are unable to find suitable jobs. It's like being stuck in a long queue for your dream job and the line just doesn't seem to move. Now let's uncover the different types of unemployment that exist in the real world. Understanding these types will help us grasp the complexities of the job market. Frictional unemployment occurs when people are between jobs or new to the labor market. It's like being a job hopping adventurer, exploring different opportunities and looking for the perfect fit. It takes time to find the right match and that temporary gap creates frictional unemployment. Structural unemployment arises from the changes in the structure of the economy, often due to technological advancements or shifts in demand. It's like being a typewriter repair specialist in the era of smartphones. Your skills are valuable, but no longer in demand leaving you unemployed until you adapt to the changing times. Seasonal unemployment is the result of people having jobs that are only necessary for part of the year. This is especially relevant in places that have drastic change of seasons. Working at a ski hill is great if you have snow on the ground in the winter, but that ski lodge is closing in the summer. Lifeguards at the lake can watch swimmers for safety, but if the lake is frozen, they aren't lifeguarding. Road work, construction, snow shoveling, lawn mowing, these are all examples of jobs that will be dependent on seasons. Cyclical unemployment is closely tied to the ups and downs of the business cycle. When the economy experiences a downturn, companies may lay off workers to cut costs, leading to higher unemployment rates. It's like being a surfer riding the waves of the economic tides, but sometimes getting caught in a massive wipeout. We also have a sneaky type called hidden unemployment. It's like Waldo hiding in a crowd, making it harder to spot. Hidden unemployment refers to individuals who have given up searching for a job or settled for part-time work even though they desire full-time employment. They're not officially counted in the unemployment figures, but they still face challenges in the labor market. Now let's shift gears and explore the impact of unemployment on the economy and society as a whole. When people are unemployed, they earn less or no income, which affects their purchasing power. This in turn can lead to reduced consumer spending, impacting businesses and potentially slowing down economic growth. Unemployment also takes an emotional toll on individuals, causing stress, feelings of inadequacy, and even affecting their mental well-being. Questions about how one will provide for themselves and their family are very real. In the board game hegemony, workers are unemployed until they get hired to work for various companies. The challenge that is present for society as a whole is these workers still need to be fed, even if they do not produce anything. The different classes can put the unemployed workers to work, but this can only happen if one, there are jobs available through businesses, and two, if the workers have the correct skill sets for those jobs, so frictional unemployment is represented by workers initially starting as unemployed, ready to work, and structural unemployment is represented by the skills necessary for workers to be able to work in the various industries. Cyclical unemployment is represented by the availability of jobs, and whether or not there are enough companies available for the workers to work, or businesses are shut down because of economic challenges faced by the owners of the businesses. The economic slowdown is showing cyclical unemployment that has factors at work that go beyond the workers themselves. So what do we do about these economic problems? What are the measures in place to combat unemployment? Governments can implement policies such as job training programs, infrastructure investments, and providing support for entrepreneurs. It's like giving a helping hand to job seekers and creating an environment where opportunities flourish. So whether you're a student preparing for the job market or an economics enthusiast looking to understand the intricacies of unemployment, remember this, unemployment is a complex issue, but with knowledge and determination, we can work towards a world where everyone has the opportunity to find meaningful employment. That wraps up our exploration of unemployment. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more captivating economic insights. And as always, leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, keep chasing those dreams, stay resilient, and never underestimate the power of a well-crafted cover letter. Happy job hunting.